Well, hello everyone and a warm welcome here to the Lake Oak Community Stadium. What an occasion for Woking today. A first round FA Cup tie at home to League One Cambridge United. It was a 2-1 win over Slough Town last time out for Woking to put them through into the first round. The Harry Butiman double. Let's talk you through the lineup. So one change being made. Timmy Odesina coming back into the size. Goal kick looking for... And Landulu tries to flick it onto Kai Kai, intercepted there from Akinola. Akinola, his clearance comes off the back of Andrews in the centre circle. Moore lays it to his right. Butman, who started energetically, charging through the centre. Butman finds Lewis. Lewis inside left, that 23 yards and goal. Lewis cuts in on his right foot. Lewis scuffs the shot wide, the target, but Woken really getting into this game. Eight minutes played and another tap there for Woken. Lewis just couldn't really get a shot off properly. Gibbons on the ball again. Moss close to him as well as Moore. Gibbons towards the middle, bounces away from Elan Dulu, but it'll be chased on the right side from Kachunga. Kachunga back into Chickson. Kachunga turns away and now it's left for Bennett. Bennett right side of the box. Bennett's cross across the face of goal and no one there to turn it in. Brilliant ball in for Liam Bennett. It was crying out for that runner. Something similar happened here. I think Andrews is just, is just going to whip this one in straight away. Andrews delivers the corner again. Headed down just wide. How was Dyche missed? That should have been 1-0 to Woken on the half hour mark. Lovely corner for Jamie Andrews and Max Dyche peeled away at the back post. Put it down and wide. It's still goalless here at the Lake Fake Community Stadium. Wow, what a sitter. A few yards in front of halfway on the far side. Jamie Andrews puts his right arm up in the air, gives the signal. Andrews lifts it in towards the area. Akinola, it comes off the top of his head. Pills handball off again. Falls here to Conte. And it takes the deflection. Sails out for a corner kick there. So Conte snapshot. Couldn't quite see it. Took a deflection off. Michael Morrison, furious with the referee, thought there was a foul on one of his players, but Woken do have a corner kick. Yeah, and there's no doubt that if Woken can get the ball in the air in the box, they look like they can cause problems. Brophy to Gibbons, Gibbons clears. Kai Kai takes on the chest, tries to turn, but runs into trouble, and Akino lifts up towards the box from Moore. Buteman heads it down towards the path of Conte, cleared away though from Bennett. Now a nice turn there from Enlon Dulu, and now it's a ball out to the right-hand side. Where Kachunga's going to chase it, was played from Smith. Kachunga keeps in play. Cambridge in the attacking third. Kachunga now into the feet of Dibby. Dibby right side of the box. Headed down off the post and into the back of net. 1 0 to Cambridge. And Dan Enlondulu puts the visitors in front. Cambridge United with a swift counter attack there on the right hand side. Ball played into the box by Dibby. Dibby's wow. balling towards near post and head off the post from Enlondulu to put Cambridge United in front well, Woking claiming it's a handball and asking the referee to go and talk to the linesman I think all the Woking players were adamant as I say oh, Cambridge player handled it well, conversation going on between the officials but as it stands Dan Enlandulu has put Cambridge United in front uh, it's been disallowed it has yeah. been disallowed Woking's appeals are paid off to whip this one in right footed could be the last chance this first half. Bennett's delivery. That's good head away from Den Lewis. Now a shot here from Brophy. Brophy's deflected the shot. Brilliant reactions there from Will Jaskalainen. Outstanding stuff. The deflection I thought was going to take it beyond him. But Jaskalainen, strong right hand to tip that one over the bar. Still goalless here. 15 seconds of stoppage time to go. Yeah, an excellent save. What you will say, it was at a decent height for him and he did get a good view of it. But can Woken get themselves an early goal? In the second half, it's short from Buteman. And now given back to Harry Buteman, lays it in field to Andrews. Andrews go for a shot, did it take a deflection? It did do so, took a nick off Brophy. Andrews took it inside left, just beyond the penalty area. The top of Morrison's head. Buteman heads it, down, heads it out to the right hand side. Moore holds it up. Kelly Evans back here to Akinola. Midway inside the Cambridge half. And now Buteman tries to play into the feet of Moore. That was a foul there on Harry Buteman. Jamie Andrews to step up. Standing square onto the ball to take it left footed. So Andrews just behind the box on the inside right. Cambridge have their four man wall set. Can Andrews beat it? Andrews over the wall, off the post. Can be turned in, shot blocked from Daesh. Massive moment. I thought that was going to go into the bottom corner. And Cambridge clear it down left hand side. Well, how unlucky is that? It was a magnificent free kick. He bent it up and over. It looked like it was in all ends up and instead of that it hit the inside of the post and came out and Woking weren't able to get on the rebound. So unlucky. Kelly Evans in field here to Moore. Now Akinola 
inside right down the centre Andrews heading to the boards the box now Andrews behind the D Andrews goes a shot over the bar but it was one I'll tell you what it was worth taking on slammed it with his left foot with the laces just a bit too much height on it 72 minutes played Woking nil, Cambridge nil. definitely good work there from Woking and particularly uh, just needs change of shirt here not exactly sure the reason why but maybe to, actually I think Akinola did take a, a whack on the face there might have been a bit of blood come for his mouth so I presume that is why goal kick taken from Reyes little touch on Landulu to his right side Landulu chased it down off the Conte was too slack on the ball and now Cambridge with Kaikai. Kai. Kaiko plays it in field and did beat towards Bennett. Can Bennett go for a shot? Bennett into the back of the net. And Cambridge lead by goal to nil with 17 minutes to go. Well worked from the visitors. And it was laid across for Brophy to smash into the back of the net to put Cambridge United in front. Brilliant finish there into the roof of the net. No chance for Uyaskalainen. And it's Woking nil, Cambridge United won. Lifts out towards the right hand side to Dion Kelly Evans, referee Wade's play on. a push in the middle on Gorman. Now it's played back to Andrews, just front of the centre circle. Andrews, that's a, a long pass, headed down to the path here of Conte. Conte lifts up to the air and headed down and straight the goalkeeper. And it was for Harry Buterman. Woking kept it alive, left side of the box, ran Conte on the byline, hooked into the centre of the area and headed straight at Vincente Reyes. Big chance of Woking, still 1-0 to Cambridge. Yeah, I didn't think it was the easiest opportunity, really, because that ball had no pace on it at all, and Butyman was struggling, really, you know, with Cambridge defenders around him to get any power on it. Gorman, Gorman, in the centre. Gorman clips it to Dion Kelly-Evans, controls it, right-footed. Kelly-Evans goes the short pass to Andrews. Back to Kelly-Evans, Kelly-Evans. Ball lifted towards the back post, headed away. Only as far as Jamie Andrews. Andrews goes a shot, deflects towards goal. And the keeper gets down to it. And Sente Reyes is right inside. The deflection took all the momentum off that ball. Ten minutes to go at the Lathwaite Committee Stadium. Woken trail by goal to nil against Cambridge United. Will Yaskulainen pings it in. Right footed. Search for Dan Moss. Moss has it towards the box. Deich gets onto it. Deich a shot and it's grabbed low down. And Sente Reyes will half chance there for Max Deich but pretty comfortable for the goalkeeper in the end. Yeah, but he did really well, I thought, yeah. to get the shot away. Yeah, he did. He's great to Max Deich with an awkward angle for him. We've got a decent amount of power four minutes final on time so uh, yeah, just one out there John yeah Stretton holds it up Stretton as he got the throat Stretton's hit it off Morrison the full time whistle goes Woken put in a valiant effort but not meant to be Woken out of the FA Cup Cambridge into the second round the winning moment came just under 20 minutes from time James Brophy smashing it into the roof and there after a well worked attack from Cambridge it was an excellent finish from Brophy but Woken, they gave as good as they got today. Dyche had a brilliant chance. Header wide in, in the first half.